Hey everybody and welcome to Clay Makes. If you're new here, I make new clay sculptures every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. In this video, I'm going to be making Eben Hyde, the elephant man from a comic book I've never heard about, but it's what the Patreon winner wanted, so this is the sculpture that he gets to keep. If you're interested, I did stream the whole process over on my Twitch channel here, and all the VODs are up there if you want to check it out in more detail. But without further ado, let's get started. So, like with most sculptures, let's start with the wooden base. Then we take some 12 gauge steel wire for the armature. We'll need two pieces at about 18 inches long. Then we'll pull out a skeleton reference so that we can make it a little easier to get the proportions right. Then after we mark all the joints, it's time to bend it. Then wrap the two wires together using some thin floor wire. Then we compose the armature and glue it together with the super glue and baking soda trick before mounting it into the base. Then since this guy is a huge elephant man with a big gut, we need to fill out a good majority of the armature with just some aluminum foil. Then since we're back to sculpting firm for this sculpture, I need to put on a thin layer of clay and then bake it so the clay will stick better without it moving around so much. Then after that first bake, it's time to get on all the muscles. For the most part, he's just Hulk with an elephant head and only four fingers on his hands. One of the most difficult parts besides the head was getting that fat buff like thing correct. Now that the body is filled out, we can start on all the details, starting with the pants, 
just pressing on some rolls of clay where all the folds would be so that we can smooth them down later. Then back to using the pasta roller to roll out sheets of clay for the belts and all the straps. Here I'm using a carving tool to press in all the shapes on the leg and arm armor. Now, the head was the hardest part of this sculpture on the account that I've actually never sculpted an elephant slash human head before. And for the fact that the eyes change position on the head depending on what reference you're using. I just threw on some clay and went to town. Everywhere where you see the light beige color, that is cos clay. I finally got my hands on some, so I use it for the ears, the trunk, and the tusks, as well as the sword. Be on the lookout for a review video of that coming soon. Then after I smooth everything out with some rubbing alcohol, I bake the sculpture at about 265 degrees for 40 minutes. Then I give it a primer coat of white before starting on the airbrushing. For the airbrushing, I'm still sticking with my standard technique where I put on the base color first, then I fill all the creases and fold with a darker shade of that color. Then I make the base color transparent then go over the whole thing, blending down the different tones. The Elephant Man was very dirty in the reference I had. The comic books look like there is a good amount of blood in it, so I made sure to add plenty of dirt and with some black washes and then dabbed on some red for some dried blood.
Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos. I have like something like 60 something up on this channel. So if you want to subscribe if you want to check those videos out. Don't forget the links are down below for the stream. I stream on Twitch almost every single day, uh, gaming streams and sculpting streams. We're getting a pretty good sized community over there. We're all really nice. We hang out answer questions, ask questions. So if you want a little more behind the scenes and a lot more detail on how things are done, we'll see you on the stream. But thank you so much for watching everybody. We'll see you all in the next one.